All right, we are here at RKM Training in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The actually the birthplace of the toothbrush. I don't know if you knew that. I don't know if you guys knew that. No, I didn't know that. that oh, <laughs> yeah. If it was anywhere else, it would have been a, a teeth brush. But anyway, so today we are going to be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this stemmed from the old animal graph of like, how, what of these animals do you think you could beat up? That's linked up here if you want to watch that one if you haven't seen that before. So the first one we're going to go with is a sloth. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking like, oh, it'd be easy because they're so slow. I don't know anything about sloths, yeah. but I'm pretty sure they're like disgusting. Like I think that their nails are like- Just poopy? Like I think it's like the Komodo dragon thing where if they get you, like yeah. you're gonna die from infection. Oh, and I, I think see. that they are vicious. But Could can they move fast? One of these days, I'm gonna mess you up. No, I don't, like I don't think so. I feel like we would know by now. I feel like that would. There be would a, be a there would be a video of a sloth be a, being like this. There'd be like a. Is it like Toy Story where the toys talk and like, but it's sloth only when we're not looking. Yeah. But what are the grip strength on those things, man? Yeah, like if they get a hold of you. Honestly, though, I mean, like I feel like this is a super easy one. They're they're creepy looking, but once you get over that, I think it's like. Done, I think so. if you can kick it, you're good. Yeah, but if it claws you, you die from infection, probably. Well, Maybe. If, if it claws you and you later die from infection, but you beat it up, did you win that fight? No, because you died. All right, animal number two is going to be a tortoise. A big one. Dude. A tortoise is attacking Yo. you. What are you actually doing to stop it? Like the littlest leg sweeps? Like just a like, gun. Um. Their heads come out way further than you think. Yeah. Like you think it's just a little... It's just, just this? It's just, yeah. They got, they got, it's like a snake inside there. It comes out. Like, you can grab, like, I tried to pick up a, a turtle by the shell and he reached around and I'm pretty sure he would have got me if I didn't, if I wasn't so, if you, if you weren't so if agile. If I wasn't much more speedy and agile than a turtle. <laughs> I, I think, so how do you beat a turtle? You can't go anywhere near the neck because of, they can, they can still get you. Yeah, they can still get you. You definitely know how to kill a turtle. You just, uh, you just jump on it. Beep. Stick shoots out of the shell and Beep. Crying him open like a clam. Beep. About stretch Beep. by his neck. <laughs> Beep. Do you remember um. the Mario games where you would like grab the thing by the tail and then you pull it and then it would be like, <laughs> and then you'd have to pop out of jump on it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's like that though. Yeah. Kind of the same thing, a little bit of a theme. Slower but more protected porcupine. How you beating a porcupine in a fight? I don't. Is this they definitely can, barehanded it, or can we like use a stick? No, no, no. It's you, uh, pretty much naked versus. I was gonna. Uh, versus uh, so, oh, so, oh, na yeah. so oh, naked porcupine fight. There's no way that any regular sane person could bring themselves to stomp that guy out. No, too cute. If we had, if I had boots on, but that I, there's no way. No, not because he's cute. Because he's covered in quills. I think for sure I I cannot bring myself to stomp a porcupine barefoot, but I definitely could. With a boot on. Yeah, see, here's what I'm thinking. They only have so many quills, and from what I understand, once they attach, they come off. It has a barb on you, and they stick it in you, and then they... So if I've got a shirt, I'm thinking shirt over top. You said naked. I said Why do you have a shirt on, but not shoes? I said pretty much naked. You're, you're Winnie the Pooh <laughs> yeah, now? Winnie you're wearing a t-shirt, no <laughs> shoes. You I, say porcupine yes, I say porcupine no. I think that I could like... What do you think? I think I could just outmuster it, you know? But that's you're gonna regret that decision. Well, I'm gonna regret <laughs> fighting an animal regardless. Okay, this one, an anaconda. I don't want none. Unless you one. got buns. A lot of countries oh, yeah. where anacondas have to be removed from places, they do it barehanded because it's slower than you. Here's the thing. Okay. This is why neither me nor Seth could beat an anaconda. Okay. It's the same reason we can't do a backflip, right? We can do a backflip. We can wrestle an anaconda. We won't, right? It does, I don't care what, like, I don't care what the logic is. That was my logic with the rat. Everyone's convinced that they don't. You're not gonna. <laughs> it's the same with the rat. Everyone was mad at me because I said human beings cannot beat rats in fights. It's because they would be super scared. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not well, because they like, physically I, couldn't. Obviously, you snakes are like. Yeah, I, you've seen plenty of videos of, of people just picking the snake <laughs> up. Yeah, I'm just not gonna do it. And yeah. I'm pretty sure he's not either. No, no, no way. Well. Now, you are naked. Okay. Oh, no, 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 okay. no, 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 we don't. I've censored enough. You in a room, locked doors, six foot by six foot, there's a scorpion. Mmm, I'm naked? You're naked. Listen, I stepped on a dead bee. I wanted to feel him crunch. And I, and the stinger stung me in the bottom of the foot. Yeah. And 
I was basically a baby and yeah. I can still remember it. Yeah. But I think if you stop him, I think even if you get him before he strikes, yeah. I still think it gets you. Maybe, here's my thought process. Like a soccer pass kick. I'm thinking like getting off angle and then boom. And yeah. just kind of like sweeping it as far as I can. And doing that a couple times until it's like does the bug thing where it's like. Oh, oh, oh. I think, I think he's scorpion and you go to like do your kick and it's boom. like. Psh. You think it has that dexterity to go left or right? It definitely does have that dexterity. Does it? I, I, I can't, I can't do it. I'm scared to death of bugs and spiders and everything else. Yeah. Right? For obvious reasons. I've. Yeah, you've entangled with the bee itself. Yeah. Okay, our next animal is going to be a murder hornet. I don't know if you remember the murder hornet. Yikes, dude! That's, that's big. That's photoshopped. No, but that's you photoshopped. Murder that's right. photoshopped. Let me get another yeah, one. How big there? What is that? Two inches? So they're that big. So yeah, I we'll think say, we'll say from here to here. I think. You think you swat it? Yeah, I think I, I think I would be more likely to swat that than stomp the scorpion. Let's see. Hold on. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do they fly that fast? Maybe. Murder horn. <laughs> you kind of... <laughs> Moving on to big birds. Not like the yellow ones, the ones that are nice large, and cartoony. Large birds. Uh, emu or ostrich. Different no. animals. No. No. No, you think... So, I know this no. one. I, I, my family's actually owned a few emus. Okay. Uh, they're horrifying. My, my opinion is any animal with legs that are that are much thinner than their height, mm -hmm. I think I'm good. Oh, like disproportionately thin legs. Thin legs. Yeah. I have trouble with any animal that's n that has very little in common with humans, like non-mammals. Yeah. And it's the whole Varels thing. Like they're too alien to me. Birds are still scary to me because they don't move. They're kind of dinosaur-y. Yeah, right. Like all that? What if you were fighting a person? It's like, hey, we're gonna do some sparring. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> and there was the great emu war in Australia where all the Australian army lost to the emus. That's a real thing. In, in Australia, there was a plague of emus eating a bunch of crops and post-World War One, the Australian military had like a bunch of army guys around. So they sent like three or four of them in a truck with a machine gun, like go kill the emus. And they failed. That's terrible. A large that the worst thing I've ever heard. Dude, what if you so, weaponized <laughs> emus? Like, what if we had the big C10s just dropping emus on other country? Put the Doc Ock chip in the back <laughs> of the emu, and it's just like, <laughs> dude, it's just get on my gun. Oh, imagine if they live. When you gotta remember, with things, with things like an ostrich, an ostrich can be up to 350 pounds. So can know? I. Ostrich is. <laughs> <laughs> so can I. So what? I'll bulk up. Now, like I said, long. Things with disproportionately small legs. Giraffe. Have you, have you ever seen the footage of the giraffes fighting each other? Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah they're, oh, we should do a video with that. No. I am gonna. I could beat a giraffe. The giraffe ain't never been leg kicked, right? And what do we know about people when they get leg kicked that very first time? Every kick is a leg kick. First off, giraffes' main attacks are going to be. I don't think it's gonna do that to us. I think that's how they fight with each other. I think to us it would be more. It would like, be a lot. I think they do this, and I think they do like yeah. the fast, those fast. Yeah. Which is sort of deer-like. You have some experience with deer. Can I mean you can like? No, we have nothing to ATAT -AT them with. You run. Yeah. You grab one leg. You swing around. You kick the other. Oh, just like a Rey Mysterio. I mean, you look at like big cats do that. It almost never goes well. For they jump cat. up on their. Butt. And there's like four or five of them. Yeah. I don't think there's any way we're beating a giraffe. No. Full. Whoosh. Full power. And you don't have to pick up. You don't have to set it up. There ain't no way the giraffe is checking leg well, kicks. I think it is. I think a giraffe is essentially going to be like a four-legged Muay Thai fighter where it's just like this. Pump. And, oh, oh, left pump fighter. Pump. Pump. We are not doing well so far. No, I specifically wanted to pick animals. This list is better than the other list. I agree so far, yeah. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know why I put this one there. Cheetah. Smaller of the cats. Incredibly fast for a burst. Yeah, and he's not going to follow any of the rules of this. The rules? Oh he's a my cheetah. god! <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> so, like, you want to say yes? Like, is your initial thought that you want to say yes? Because my initial thought is I want to say yes. I kind of. I don't think it would go. You'd be ripped to shreds. Oh, yeah. At the end. Obviously. Right? No stamina, let's be honest. No stamina for the sprint, but what they do is they sprint, they catch, they grab, they latch, they do that for a while. Oh, it grapples? 
like hooks here, and then like it's like this. <laughs> Really yeah. Right, they have really good wrestling. Okay, so, so he's, and he's doing this. So he claws the whole. Thing. So the cheetah is the jujitsu guy who doesn't clip his. I think he's a wrestler. <laughs> yeah, 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 one hundred percent. Gosh, I have made a really like. This is a tough lift. Do you have anything on here? So let's move on to the next one. The next one is a pig. I'm talking like common pink pig. Oh, those. I don't have much experience. I'm not with those. talking like a warthog or like. Mine a was boar. mine was half half um wild. Your, like half your, feral, feral sorry, hog. you had a pig? Yeah, I had a pig. You've yeah, been a pig for like 15 years. Oh, you had like a long term. Like a pet pig. Yeah, he's yeah. a pet. Okay. You're not winning that fight. There, you can't do any damage to it. So no, you, so there's when, not an attack that hurts it. There's also, I don't think too much that it does that hurts me long term. Bull, forget about it, spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe it's my pig. Subscribe. My dad. Oh. <laughs> when he would get in the bed with us, he took his little tusk and he stuck that shit. He would get. Huh. Pink, Sorry, like he'd sleep in the bed with me. Sorry, <laughs> go back. He would sleep in the bed. This, this is martial arts related. Yeah. Okay. The 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 amount of torque they have. Yeah. When they stick that snout up on, like if he didn't like the way you were laying, like he wanted you to roll over. Yeah. And he would stick his nose in you. Yeah. He could generate torque that could flip a grown man. The only thing they really don't like is when you pull on their tail. They really hate that. So my initial thought was. They're, they're hairy little sons of guns. Because I was thinking I was just going to go on top and just latch on. No, they, and it'll they come just out. start throwing elbows. No, so from their, a bristles, their, bristles, their bristles. Their bristles come out, but you can't hurt him. Comment down below. This is the one we kind of disagree on. Seth thinks he can take a pig. I'm saying he can't. He has too much torque. It's like a tractor like you, or a tank. You can't stop it. Can't yeah, stop imagine if you've seen you stopped. I, I don't think I've been stopped ever. Okay. I got stopped one time, I was speeding though. You don't have a nose that big without repercussions. The next one is a, I, I put goat slash ram, uh, goat this tall. The one that- Like messed, a farm goat. The one that messed up that news reporter. Yeah, 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 something that like that. That's a reasonable size goat. Not these right. like legendary mythical rams that live in yeah, the- Yeah, that are like up in the mounds, mounds of- yeah, and look, yeah, And look like this. With all they do is wings and- Just a goat, regular goat. Bah. I have a little bit of experience, I did fight a goat once. It was, we were play fighting. It was, it was like friendly. Um, you gotta withstand the initial hit, right? They have one thing. It's like fighting a dude with an <laughs> overhand right. Sort of absorb. Yeah, sprawl on them. Get a bit. hold of the horns, because now you got a handle. They're strong like any other animal. Real strong driving. Yeah. Real strong with this. Strong like a regular animal, side to side. Yeah. But you turn its head, and you. Head to the dirt. You have to gruff me up. Yeah. You know what I mean. Do you think, like, I feel like a lot of this has got to be pre premeditated? A little bit. Like, I mean, I don't have a real job. My job is to <laughs> sit around and... I think this is going to be our last one. All right. Give me something I can beat. Emperor Penguin. Oh, I am, uh, dude, I am wrecking a penguin, man. You think so? Oh, my God. What can it even do? Emperor Penguins are big, though. Oh. This guy right here, and he's going to be all like... Me for me for uh, bro. I'm gonna be like, because <laughs> emperor penguins they they reach sizes up to about thirty nine, <laughs> up to about thirty nine inches, just oh, over God, three oh, feet, God. fifty to one hundred pounds. That's seventy five. <laughs> like, but how aggressive is an emperor penguin? It's a penguin, so not very. <laughs> Unless you're a fish. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Uh, subscribe to all the channels linked below. Don't beat up animals, you know, it's, and if you find somebody that has like a preconceived thought on how they would beat animals, maybe just stay clear of them for a bit.